Hey everyone, welcome back to Conquest of Camelot. Okay, so, um... I missed a few things last time, so I restored back to this point. Um, so this is after we gave uh, that copper coin to Wittershins to make him disappear so he wouldn't take all our money or give us stinging ants. And let me just make sure, did I ask about Sir Nunos? I'm not sure if I did, but let me just make sure to do that because we get points for doing that, or I think one point for doing that. Okay, let's move on. Let's go ahead and move on. Greetings, King Arthur. I just noticed our, our horse's hooves don't make that clippity-cloppity noise on the grass, so I guess uh, I guess people realized that it would be annoying if, if that uh, went on through the entire game. And of course, we don't have a guy following us with coconut shells clippity-cloppity the, the coconut shells through the whole game either, so that is good, actually, in my, uh, in my book. All right, so before we do anything here, let's go ahead and look around the scene with the right mouse button, because we've got some stuff here. All right, tis a tree, tis a rock, tis a bush, tis another bush. Though the mule is here, she looks even more unhappy than when you started this trip. Tis a tree, all right. So this is the hunter from the simplicity of, of his clothing and his worn face. I would say that he is a poor man. You can see behind him there is a spear, tis a makeshift rack. And there's a spear leaning on the rack behind the hunter. Also, what I missed last time is this stuff here. Um, the hunter has several pelts drawing upon simple racks made of sticks. I don't know why we need them, but we're supposed to get them. We get points for getting them. So, uh, so let's go ahead and start with the hunter. Before I forget, somebody pointed out that I forgot to try to kiss the hunter. So let's go ahead and do that. By Sanonos, I'm a true man, not a bloody courtier. All right. And I think if we... Try to hug him or get even more intimate with him. Yeah, he gives the same response. Okay, fine. All right, let's go ahead and talk to the man, to the hunter. I am but a poor man, my lord, but perhaps in some small way I may be of service to you. Aye, it is a hard life in the forest to earn a few thin coins to feed my family. Right, so we gave him some money. So let me go ahead and start off by giving him a copper coin. And he's very grateful for just the one copper coin. May Sununos, God of the Hunt, bless you. If there's any advice I may give you, you have but to ask. And heed this warning, beware the Mad Monk of Glastonbury. I think we asked about the Mad Monk last time. Yeah, I think we got this last time. But actually, what we need to ask about, or, well, we don't need to ask about it. You get a point for asking about this. Ask about the Black Knight. It's a little bit early days now. I mean, we don't really know much about the Black Knight, but uh, somehow you're supposed to know that you're supposed to ask this guy about the Black Knight. He is a part of this forest, binding its power to him with dark magics. You must face his challenge, my lord, if you wish to reach the tool. See, this is kind of, this is the kind of thing that annoys me. Like, you get points for asking about this stuff, but there's not even any clue that you're supposed to ask about these things. So if I had just gone on by without asking about these things, I would have missed some points, and I don't really know how you're supposed to know that. That's kind of, Kind of annoying, in my opinion. Um, that's that's why I, was, I think I said before in the last video. There are a lot of little things like that which you can easily miss in this game because they're not uh, they're not signposted very well, and they don't seem to have any obvious benefit. But you get points for uh, for doing them, so it's like you just kind of have to know that you need to do those things. Anyway, all right. So we looked at those spears, right? So there's a spear. We we wanted to buy the spear. We need to buy the spear. So he says he can't part with it for less than the value of the price of a for less than the price of gold coin, that's fine. Let's go ahead and give him some money. And let's say uh, one gold coin. Give. Bless you, my lord. I will fetch the spear. The staff of this bull spear is made of the sacred oak and the spear had forged by the black knight himself. I will fasten it beneath your steed's trappings so it will be secure until needed. Tis done, but be warned, my lord. The spear draws the power from its its power from the force itself and cannot be taken away from it. Okay, cool. We we saw this before. I don't know why I'm rereading it again. Okay, and one thing that I did miss is we need to buy those skins from the guy. You have generously given me the price of the skins already, my lord. Consider them yours. Since your mission is clearly urgent, I give you my oath of honor to deliver them safely to Camelot for you. So we don't even get the skins. Like if you look at our inventory, he gives us the spear, but he doesn't give us the, the, the pelts or the skins. He promises to have them delivered, but it's like, okay, so what's the point of that? Like, what's the purpose of that? Why do we get points for having him promise to deliver the skins? I mean, I don't think, 
I don't think King Arthur really needs the skins. I think King Arthur has enough uh, stuff in his castle to keep him warm on, on cold winter nights already. Uh, so what what's our advantage of getting this poor guy, this this poor, impoverished hunter to, to give us his, his pelts? Like, wouldn't they be better used, given to other poor people in the kingdom? I don't know. But anyway, we get points for that. Okay, I think we're done here now, so we can thank this fellow. And... Um, Okay, now I think we're ready to go kill those boars. And yeah, our mule bolts, but that's that's okay. We can uh, we can live with that. The mule turns up later, and we have this whole scene with the boars. Um, and we need to kill them again, as we saw last time. Whoops. Okay. Well. I wasn't have... okay. Well, you know what? I'll just go ahead and restore the game because I had yeah I had this game here from when I fought the boars. So okay, I'll just I'll just restore back here. So the thing is, um, you might think okay. Well, if I forgot to do some stuff with the hunter, I can just go back and and do it again with him, right? Well, no, because he's gone. After you see him once, then that's it. He he just disappears. He takes all his his pelts and his spears with him. So you can't do anything with him after he's gone. So if you forget to do something, tough luck. You can never do it again. That's also something that kind of, kind of annoys me. Like stuff like that, which you know, like these kinds of things where you know Sierra games were notorious for uh, getting you stuck in situations where you couldn't win the game. And this is not an unwinnable situation. It's like you can win the game without getting the skins from the hunter and stuff like that. But it's just kind of like you, you miss the points. And it's like, well, why why does he just suddenly disappear as soon as you go off screen? It just would be nice if you could go back and do those things with him. But no, you can't. Oh, and now these boars have flies hanging around them. Let's see. Where there is decay, there will be flies. Can we get the flies? Ridiculous. Talk to the flies. No. Okay. All right. Fine. So, um, anyway, so, so we come over here. This crow talks to us, tells us turn back or die. The crow asks us, um, do you accept the challenge of the black knight? Let's say yes. And then the crow flies away. And we did this other stuff last time. We saw the skeleton here. And yeah, uh, there's nothing we can do except get this piece of brightly colored silk. And then you can see there's the sleeve in our inventory. Um, <coughs> oh yeah, and somebody did point out to me one thing I, I did miss in this screen. Um, Again, the game doesn't say anything about this. You just kind of, you just kind of have to know. Um, it mentions the unfortunate soul, like the skeleton sitting on the ground, but it doesn't signpost this tree. Apparently, you're supposed to talk to the tree. So let's look at the tree. Most of the trees here are quite ordinary, but this one hoary, leafless tree may well be the eldest of them all. And even seeing that, like I don't know how you'd come upon the idea to talk to the tree, but yeah, you're supposed to talk to the tree. Who dares to speak to old father tree? You are but a twinkle in time, mortal. Let me sleep the long and dreamless sleep of deep roots and sun on branch. All right. Tell me some more, old father tree. Do not disturb him further, Arthur. He is an old and weary tree. All right, all right. So, um... Okay, I think that's that. I think that's all we can do here. So now we can get to the to the, the meat of the matter. We can get to the, uh, the thing that... Uh, the big sort of, uh... Hold, King Arthur. Do not seek to move. Not even Merlin can free you from my power in this place. Hey, it's the Black Knight. Here are your choices. In the forest beyond me, I have imprisoned your friend, Sir Gawain. He is sorely injured and shall die soon without help. To free him, you must joust with me. Oh, wait, I read all this last time. Ah, that's right. We ran into this guy last time, and I said no. Ah, that's right. We saw all this last time. All right. Okay, so this time, obviously, I'll do the right thing, and uh, when he asks, will you joust with me, I'll say yes. You are worthy opponent. Take up your lance and let the fight begin. The joust will continue until either you or I've been on horse three times. Let it begin. All right, folks, this is a very cheap fight. So let me, sh so you can see, you use E, S, D, and F to position your shield. 
And, okay, that time I actually got lucky. So what I want to show you is, see that? He hit me. The Black Knight has unhorsed you for the first time or to make it the last. So basically, the first person to get knocked off their horse three times dies and loses the fight. So your objective is to do that three times to the Black Knight. But look what happens. Like, I clearly have my shield where his lance is pointing. Like, his, his lance clearly hits my shield. And yet, I still get knocked off my horse. Like, what is up with that? So look, look at that. See that? His lance was right in the middle of the shield. It wasn't even like to the side of the shield. It was literally right in the middle of the shield. So I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Now, obviously I'm playing on the diffi on the hard. Diffi uh, so let me go in and restore this game. So you can see what I did was, uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let me go and restore this last game that we saved here in the previous video. And I'll try this again. And Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me go and set arcade difficulty to easy. Let's see what difference it makes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this makes some kind of difference, but let's see. So, look at that. I'm on easy setting and his lands clearly hit my shield. He very clearly... The, the idea here is if the lance hits the shield, you don't get unhorsed. I think that's supposed to be the idea. But he very obviously like has his lance like going right into the middle of the shield. And it says, oh, he struck a telling blow against you. That's like... Okay, that time it worked. That time... And also you can see I didn't hit him. Like you can kind of see see on his shield that, that skull and crossbones that shows up on his shield shows that I hit his shield, his shield as well. Now we're just, we're not doing anything here. Like, I can't... Okay, I used the, the keypad. There we go. That's what it looks like when you unhorse him. You have struck your first successful blow against the Black Knight. So basically, that's how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to unhorse him, and obviously without him unhorsing you. But I don't get how it's supposed to work. Like, okay, I'm just... Okay, that was kind of cheap. Like, he kind of... All right, that was... There we go. We've unhorsed the Black Knight for the second time. One more, and you have won. And can we do this a third time? Nope. All Camelot will grieve to hear that the that valiant King Arthur was slain by the Black Knight. So... I really don't know how you're supposed to... I mean, there's obviously something, something I'm missing here. Now, you, you can kind of see, okay, when, you, when your lance hits his shield... Okay, I understand. You can see when your lance hits his shield, and that's why he doesn't get un... Uh, unhinged, or what's not unhinged, but like... Dis, not dismounted either. What's what's the like like knocked off his horse? He, he doesn't get knocked off his horse because because um, you hit his shield. Okay, fine, that's fair enough. But I mean, like you can clearly see. I mean, those two times he didn't, we didn't hit each other. But like you see that his lance obviously hit my shield. So there's some kind of thing going on here where it's like maybe I need to move the shield further to the left. But this is actually as far left as it goes. Like I can't move it farther left than this. And it's like okay, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I sh I can see that his lance was maybe a little bit further to the left, but my shield literally doesn't go further left than this. This is as far left as it goes. So, and this is on the easy setting. Like, I don't know, I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So, what I ended up doing, because I, I looked online and I just couldn't find a way to consistently do this. Like, what you're supposed to do, I mean, obviously to get the most points, you need to knock him off his horse three times without, uh... Oh, maybe I need to move the, the shield down. Maybe the, maybe the problem is that I need to move it farther down because it was too high up. I don't... It could be that maybe his lance was too far down, and not that I need to move the shield to the... to the left, but that I need to move it down. That might be what I'm doing wrong, but I don't know how you can tell. Because when you look at his lands, like... If you replay the video, I'm very sure that every single time that he hit me, or, or nearly every single time that he hit me, his lance was very clearly going onto my shield, and not, uh, you know, like, like my shield was definitely blocking his lance where his lance was. So I really have no idea what you're supposed to do. I can't even defeat him on easy mode. I'm going to try one last time. And if this doesn't work, which I don't think it will, then, then I'm just going to say screw it. So you kind of... Like, what was I supposed to do there, honestly? What did I do wrong? I don't get it. How did I get knocked off my horse? I even moved, I moved the shield down there because it looked like maybe it was a little little too high. I mean, do I need to... Yeah, look at that. Every single time. Every single time his lands hit my shield. 
And it looked like maybe, like I said, maybe that the lance was a little bit too far left of the shield, but I, I couldn't move the shield further left than that. So I have no idea what's going on here. So what I did, I'll go ahead and restore this game here. What I did is I used DOS box down, uh, which I talk about a lot because it, it's, it's the only DOS box that I know of that lets you use save states. Actually, I, I guess there are there are other DOS box ports in the meantime that let you use save states, but DOS box down was one of the first, and so that's why that's the one I kind of tend to use. And I know it's kind of cheap, but the game is being very cheap. Like that is super cheap what the game is doing here. Like it just keeps knocking me off the horse, even when I very clearly have my shield where the point of the black knight's lance is. And I still keep getting knocked off the horse. That is, in my opinion, very, very cheap what the game is doing. So yeah, so I was cheap right back. I used save states and just kept uh, playing the sequence over and over until I knocked the knight off his horse three times without getting knocked off once myself. And you get the most points by playing on... Um, on hard difficulty and not getting knocked off. So basically you need to knock off the Black Knight to get maximum possible points. You need to play on hard difficulty and you need to knock the Black Knight off his horse three times without getting knocked off once yourself. You can get knocked off once or twice and survive, but you'll get less points that way. So to get maximum points, you have to not fall off once, but knock him off three times. Good luck doing that, especially in hard difficulty. I'm probably missing something. I admit, there's probably something I'm doing wrong. There's probably just some trick or something that I couldn't figure out, but I really couldn't figure it out. I went online, I looked up walkthroughs, I looked at YouTube videos. I mean, I saw some people doing it on YouTube videos, but I just I just couldn't figure out the magic. There's, there's probably some some secret or, or some trick or something that I'm, ju I'm just not not catching on to so i don't know anyway anyway i don't want to waste any more time on it so yeah so i went ahead and and saved this game ahead of time and in this game i did everything so i got i talked to the hunter i asked the hunter about the black knight i got the skins from the hunter i talked to the old father tree i did all the things that get you points so by restoring this game i shouldn't be missing any points so let's just forget about this joust with the black knight and move on king arthur I knew you would come. All right, so what do we have here? It's uh, Gawain, and in spite of his injuries, he has been left shackled to a massive tree. The Black Knight shows little mercy. All right, can we uh, can we talk to Gawain? Help me, Arthur. The pain is terrible. All right, let's go ahead and free Gawain. Aye, it would be best to get him free of the shackles as quickly as possible. Seek the most direct method. So, yeah, you just say break chains and Arthur automatically kind of moves his horse out of the way and dismounts from his horse boom and breaks the chains I don't know that you can just cut through metal chains like that with a sword I mean well, I guess he shattered them he didn't just cut through them but is a sword really strong enough to shatter like like metal chains I don't know anyway all right so he broke the chains Can we talk to Gawain some more? Beware the mad monk of Glastonbury. I believe he has the grail. Can we ask about the mad monk? Though I did not reach the tour, I believe the grail is held by the mad monk of Glastonbury. All right, and don't forget to ask about the grail because you get a point for this as well. Oh, he says the same thing. All right. All right, uh, so what do we do with Gawain? Um, aye, Gawain must be helped. If he does not reach Camelot soon, he will die of his injuries. Can we carry Gawain? It makes no sense to put the burden yourself when you have a powerful horse nearby. Yeah, so what we need to do is put Gawain on the horse. May God be with you, Arthur. Tarry not with me. Go at once to the tour. Find the grail, I beg you. All right. I think this means we need to spend the rest of our game, rest of the game without our horse. He's right. Your horse will carry him safely back to Camelot. Even if you must go on foot, you must continue your search without delay. But be assured that this noble sacrifice brings blessings upon you. All right, yeah. So that's what you're supposed to do. That is the, the just and noble thing to do. And the other thing that I did obviously wrong in the last video is on the next screen here with this witch. Um, so she's... 
The forest witch, and yeah, you shall not pass with a circle until you give me what I desire. And what may this be that I desire, you wonder? Ha! You be so cunning a knight, ye shall know. Um, so she said that uh, she would uh, require a whole purse, but what she really wants is not money, but that sleeve. So let's go ahead and give the sleeve to her. Aye, aye! That is what I most desire! Bring it here at once! <laughs> Bless you, valiant knight. I am the Lady Elaine, transformed into the forest by into the forest which by hideous spell cast upon me by the Black Knight. Only the sleeve which I gave to my true love could set me free. And if my sleeve is here, my beloved knight cannot be far away. I must find him at once. Fare thee well. So kind of the opposite of that guy from King's Quest V. In King's Quest V, there was a guy who suddenly ran away to look for his missing princess. In this case, it's the woman who suddenly goes running off to look for her missing prince or knight or whatever. All right, let me go and save the game here. Gave sleeve. We didn't have that sleeve for very long. Apparently, Arthur is not into cross-dressing. And uh, I'll go ahead and call the video here. I'm, I'm kind of worn out by all this. So this, all this stuff with the with jousting with the Black Knight took a lot out of me. Like it kind of it, it made me very annoyed. I have, to, I have to be honest. I'm just kind of annoyed with how things ended up going here first again that there are a couple of things which you uh really you know will get points for but there's no indication that you have to do those things like talking to the tree i mean who who would think of talking to the tree i mean it's not that outlandish but it's not something that would occur to me and it, it is something that you have to do to get a point and then that just that whole jousting sequence is just it, it again it's just it's so cheap it's so bad like you kind of kind of left a sour taste in my mouth so n now that we're past it now that we we've kind of gotten some of the some of the worst stuff behind us let's go ahead and take a break and hopefully i'll be in a a bit uh, better spirits uh in the next video i'm not i'm not uh, i'm not really upset like i i'm not um I, i'm not like terribly uh disappointed or upset with the game or anything but i'm, I'm just a bit annoyed to be honest um that they would put an arcade sequence like that which you have to win to see the thing is like I'm not necessarily against arcade sequences and adventure games, but most arcade sequences in Sierra Adventures were really easy. Like most of the ones I can think of were pretty easy. Uh, but that jousting with the Black Knight, it is so difficult, even on the so-called easy uh, arcade setting. And you have to do it. Like there's no way around it. You can't just skip it. Like most of the time when there's an arcade sequence, there's an option to skip the arcade sequence in the game because, you know, people want to play an adventure. They don't want to have to keep doing the arcade sequence. But that one is, is in my opinion, unreasonably difficult. And there's no way to skip it. You just have to have to do it. And you have to do it. You have to knock him off three times, which seems to be just inordinately bordering on impossible. Like I said, I'm sure there's some trick to it that I'm just missing. But anyway, yeah, I'm just I'm not in the best of spirits right now. I'm just a bit annoyed by how this uh, how things went on this uh, segment of the game. So I'll go ahead and stop here. And next time, hopefully, I'll be a little bit more uh, uh, enthusiastic and ready to to go uh, and do more stuff in the game so until then thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed and i'll talk to you all later have a good day and bye bye for now